Hi boys and girls, good morning and welcome to our Bible study today. I am teacher Susan from St. Barnabas Otiende. Who knows what we start with? Prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we worship you this morning and we honor your holy name. Lord, we are so thankful to you for the gift of life and good health and the gift of family and all the other blessings that you have given us day after day without fail. Thank you because you are a wonderful God. You are a marvelous Father. You have loved us with an everlasting love. And Lord, we love you this morning. We love you always. We pray that, Lord, you continue to walk with us and to teach us more about you. And this morning, we welcome you. Lord, we pray that you send your Holy Spirit to help us to understand all that we will learn today. Help us, dear Lord, to pay attention so that we do not miss anything that you have prepared for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, today we are going to learn a very important lesson. But first, I want us to sing a new song again. Who is God? It goes like this. Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. Who is God? God is the creator and holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. Yes, we always talk about God. Every Sunday when we meet, we talk about God. So, I want us today to learn a very important lesson, that God exists. You know, when you look outside and you see the huge sky, with the beautiful clouds, sometimes they are blue, sometimes they are dark gray, sometimes they are just beautiful light gray, you know, and when you look at the, the sun and the moon and the stars at night, these are called nature. When you look at the forests, the rivers, if you have ever been to Mombasa, you look at the ocean, all these things, they are creations of God. They tell us that God exists. In Psalm chapter 19, let's see, where is Psalm? Yes, I have got it. Psalm chapter 19. The Bible talks about creation, the creation of God. Chapter 19, just verse 1 and verse 2, it says this, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the the, the the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. You know, when we look at the sky and the stars and the moon, all we can hear them saying is God created us. And God created everything so beautiful, even you and me. God created us. When we look at, you know, the way we wake up in the morning and we are healthy and the sun is shining and we have food to eat, it all tells us that God exists. In Psalm chapter 14, verse 1, it says, The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Imagine, only a fool can say there is no God because nature speaks and it tells us there is God. The, the Bible, when we read the Bible, God has chosen to reveal himself to us 
in the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Meaning, God is there and God was there even before anything was created. And then in John chapter 1 verse 1, it says, in the beginning, there was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. God was there in the beginning. Nothing existed before God. God created everything that we see. And anyone, you, me, our parents, our teachers, anyone who desires truly to know God, all they need to do is read the Bible. If we read the Bible carefully, prayerfully, then we will be able to understand who God really is because God has revealed himself in the Bible to us. We know that God exists by faith. When we see everything that God created, when we look at ourselves, and we see how wonderfully we are created when we see the sun rising and the sun setting and the stars in the sky at night and the moon. Then by faith, we know that God exists. Let's read Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews 11 verse 6. What does it say? This is what it says. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, that God exists. We must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. You know, when we read the Bible, we are able to know that God exists. He reveals himself to us through the Bible. We can also listen to the teachings. You know, uh, when you go to church and you are taught the word of God. You go to, to, to the church and the preacher preaches the word. Sometimes God reveals himself to even children like you through dreams and visions. You remember Samuel? He was just a little boy in the temple sleeping and God revealed himself to Samuel. So God reveals himself first through the Bible, his word, and sometimes through dreams and visions, and when you are taught, of course, when you're being taught, you have to be taught from the Bible. So, there is evidence that God truly exists. Just look at nature. Anytime you are out there, look at the plants, look at the beautiful flowers, look at the birds flying in the air and singing beautiful tunes. Look at the rivers when you go to Shags and the ocean when you go to Mombasa or, you know, all these things, they tell us that God exists. And remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made by who? By God, of course. God has made himself known to us through creation and through the Bible. And we need to just have faith and know that the God we pray to, the God we believe in truly exists. Romans, let's also read Romans chapter 10, verse 17. And this is what it says. Um, where is chapter, chapter, yes, here it is. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word of Christ. So by hearing the word, that is how we get faith. 
Faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. So whether you are sitting at home and you choose to read a verse in the Bible or you come to church and you are taught the word of God, that is how God gives us faith. As we learn his word, we get faith. We get to know that truly our God exists, that our God is good and he rewards. You remember what we have read in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, that he rewards those who seek him. And he rewards us by te teaching us the truth about himself, by revealing himself to us more and more, by teaching us how to pray and the Holy Spirit comes to dwell with us so that he can help us to understand as we read, so that he can help us to remember what we read. You remember we are always uh, doing our memory verses. Those memory verses, the, the Holy Spirit helps us to keep them in memory so that when we need the word of God, it is always with us. All right. So today our memory verse is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. I hope you remember. And by the way, we, did, we, we said last week, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Okay? Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. We need faith to know that God exists because nobody has seen God. We have not seen God, but we know that he exists by faith. Okay, so Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, and this is what it says. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Okay. Thank you, children. That, that was awesome. Today we have just learned a wonderful lesson that God exists. And we know that by faith he exists. We will continue to study the word. We will continue to listen to the teachers as they teach us so that our faith can continue to grow and to grow and to grow. As we grow, we will become spiritual giants like David. No Goliath will be able to defeat us because we have faith that our God exists and he fights for us. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you for listening. Keep on practicing. Keep on having faith in God and he will never leave you. He will never abandon you. That is his promise. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us today that you truly exist. Help us to pay attention when we learn more about you. Help us to practice reading our Bibles so that, that our faith can continue to grow because without faith, it is impossible to please you. Now, Lord, we pray that you take care of us and our families throughout the week until we meet again next Sunday. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye.